air tools. Now, these things make your life incredibly easy when you're cleaning the interior of cars and engine bays. But to use them, you need an air compressor. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at Hyundai's 50 litre silent air compressor. Nestled in here is my compressor. Now, thanks to Hyundai for sending this to me. Uh, it was sent to me. But it's, it's exactly the model that I wanted, so I'm really pleased they reached out. And it's the silent one because I found the noise from regular compressors is incredibly loud. And for me, working at a customer's house, that's a no-no. And also for me, when I'm working at home, I don't want to annoy the neighbors. So, uh, I've gone for the 50 liter one. I'm gonna see if that's about the right size or not. I'm not sure if it is. And then I'm also gonna compare it to the other model that they do, which is the twin motor driven, not the belt drive, but the twin motored V engine. Uh, it's the blue Hyundai one, which is a lot noisier and a bit more powerful. We're gonna see if that makes a difference or not. So first, let's, uh, let's go and turn this one on so you can hear what it's like. All right, so you're about a meter and a half away and the compressor's inside the van. So I'm gonna turn it on. And from here, you see about 50 decibels. Up close, it's about 68. Right, you're about the same uh, distance away as you were to the one in the van. This is the blue one. This is the more powerful, but louder. I've not turned this on at all at any point, so I've got no idea how loud it really is. Get my decibel meter ready, but uh, Dave's warned me it's pretty noisy. In case you were wondering what I was shouting at you there, 79 decibels went up close, about 70 near the camera. So it's a lot, lot louder. And bearing in mind that de um, the decibel scale is logarithmic, uh, it gets louder and louder. The difference between the numbers is bigger as it goes up. So that's what they sound like. But really, we want to see the benefit of using air tools when detailing. So the typical thing you see are these pulse guns. Now here I've got Slim's version of their uh, Turner door equivalent. This is a special one because it also has the adapter to do the dust extraction, which I'll show you a bit later as well. And then I've got the uh, air pulse gun there on the floor and I'll show you that in a bit too. And now I'm using this with my compressor, uh, the 50 liter silent, and I have to say it was, it was great, it worked really well. Uh, I never at any point did I think this hasn't got enough oomph um, as you'll see later, it, the, the amount of time the tank stays charged for is about 30, 35 seconds of continuous use, which is maybe not enough. However, it, you, I found you don't kind of use it on the whole piece of the door, for example, or the whole piece of trim that you're doing. You use it on spot pieces that you really need the benefit of the high pressure air and the rest of it you just kind of use the, your cloth and some uh, cleaner or you just do a light misting of the uh, cleaner. So for example, in here, I'm just using ONR as my interior cleaner. I didn't need anything more aggressive because the air was really doing the work and the combination of those two things together left a really, really good result. So that's fantastic. And the airline I bought, the 10 meter airline, again, links below for that. That was really good as well. That worked out really nicely. Um, and I will say that I find there's a, there's a right time to use these sorts of tools. And what I'm doing here is the right time. It's a pretty dirty car. If it's a well-maintained car, you're not gonna need to use these things. Um, but it is fantastic for the deep cleans when it's needed. I also need to thank Dave from Epic Detailing for letting me use the unit to uh, film some of the uh, bits I've done here. The weather's been awful. Um, so thank you, Dave, you really helped me out there. And also it gave me the opportunity to do those side-by-side -side comparisons of which there's a bit more later to the blue Hyundai compressor as well. For anyone else watching this, this review of the compressor is from a detailer's perspective. So if you've got any questions that I don't cover here, ask me and I'm happy to go and have a look and see if I can answer them for you. Okay, so this isn't how I normally do things, and it's the Instagrammer's favorite, isn't it? You blast an absolutely filthy mat. This is really poor practice. You wanna hoover it off first. This is making so much mess, because you're atomizing all that dirt, getting it in the air. My kit was covered out of shot in all of this stuff. 
So what you really want to do is hoover off the worst first and then use the air compressor tool. So in this case, it's the turbo uh, nozzle and I've got that um, in the link below as well. Got that on Amazon, I think it's about 15 to 20 pounds. So you use that after you've given it a thorough hoover to really lift out the ingrained and uh, embedded dirt. And it also does a great job of getting stuff through the pile and shaking it out the bottom as you can see how dirty the workbench was. And blast that off. There was a lot of dirt there. So the air pulse tool, you want to use it in conjunction with the hoover like this to get out the very ingrained dirt that you couldn't get out just from a standard hoover. That's how to do this. Don't buy all of that, oh, I'm going to blast this really dirty mat nonsense. So here's an example of doing it properly. You would not want to get the air tool in here and blasting that around. It would make so much mess. So you thoroughly hoover up the carpets and the interior first. And then once you've got as much off as you can with the hoover, you can go in with the air tool. Now there are people here that will do it with the DA as well to vibrate. It does work. It can damage the carpet, um, but it does work. Also, again, you would want to hoover properly first. So you've got all the easy debris. That's gone. Now you go in with the air tool and you lift out more of the dirt that's ingrained deep into that carpet. And these carpets on the Fiat 500 are the cheapest, horrible, velcro -y type things you can get. So cleaning is one thing. The other, other element I find particularly useful is drying. So rather than using a blow dryer, you can use your airline. Uh, that's very effective. And of course, the other thing is if you're polishing, you can use it to blow out the pads. This doesn't get them 100% clean. Uh, so don't buy into that. You still need to wash them properly afterwards. It just means you can do this in between a couple of sets and then maybe use your pad washer afterwards. So, well, something I did notice there was this seems to fill quicker. So that's gonna be another test to look at now. Which one takes the shortest amount of time to fill from empty? Well, any way to do that? Through the stopwatch. So let's go. I was a little bit slow on that, but what, 237, 238? That's quite a long time. Let's go and see the other one. Right, so apart from being really loud, how long is this gonna to take to recharge? Hey, okay, so it's actually not a lot quicker. I thought it was gonna be loads quicker than that, and that's 155. Okay, another test to do is how quickly Will this tool on maximum draw deplete the uh, air tank before the engine uh, kicks in to recharge? Okay, so I'm going to start this in time. That was 15 seconds of continuous use. So you can see why I'm thinking the 100 litre tanks are going to be a better thing because you get more working time. But let's go see on the, uh, on the uh, silent one. All right, same test again, this time on the silent compressor. Okay, 21 seconds for that. And what I would note is because of its lower power output, its lower CFM, the performance drop off was quicker. Um, so the amount of oomph I was getting out into this was reduced more quickly. And therefore it was effective less for less time. Right, so I've had a thorough look at these two different compressors now from Hyundai, and I've been able to draw some conclusions. And that is, I prefer the silent one. However, I would want the 100 litre version. And the 100 litre one is fairly new to market now. It, uh, it comes in two different sizes. There's one with a 1500 watt motor, so 1500 watt. And there's also one with a 3000 watt motor. It's still silent, but it will recharge the tank more quickly. Quick interruption there, because I realized during the edit that I had not put in the stats at any point for any of these uh, models I'm looking at. So this is my 50 liter silent one. This produces 118 PSI at 11 CFM. Then we go over to the twin motor direct drive and that is 116 PSI for 14 CFM. Then you've got the 1500 watt 100 liter and that is 145 PSI but 9.6 CFM. And then the 3000 watt one is 145 PSI, but 10.6 CFM. Got all that? 
Right. The 100 litre with the 1500 watt motor is not an awful lot more money than the uh, 50 litre there. The 3000 watt one is substantially more, like hundreds of pounds more. I think this one's about 50 pounds more if you want the 100 litre version. And to me, that is absolutely the right one to go for. So I hope that's been useful and interesting to you. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, links to below where you can get them. They're actually on Amazon, which I think is one of the better places to get these, because if you have any issues, the returns policy is really straightforward, isn't it? So links for I'm providing you are down on Amazon. There are other places to buy them for. Have a look around. If you've got a trade account somewhere, you might be, uh, be able to get it there. Anyway, hope that was useful. Are the Hyundai silent compressors worth getting? Yes, absolutely. Now, you've got some other time to watch. Have a go and have a look at this one. If not, go and check out my channel in general. You might find something else to watch. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.